Hello guys and welcome to today's video, where I will be discussing a little bit of a controversial topic, which is the increasing of illegal serves in the pro scene in table tennis. I believe right now, if you look at the men's top 100 or top 150 in the world ranking, 80% of the players have serves that by the rules in the ITTF handbook regarding services, they are not actually legal. So uh, first of all, I would like to show you those rules so you know what I'm talking about. There are a lot of different rules, so I'm not going to read up every single one of them, but I'm going to put my focus on the most important ones. First of all, the service shall start with the ball resting freely on the open palm of the server's stationary free hand. With an open palm, it means that it has to be resting here. This is a too close palm, so this is actually a fault. It has to be open, resting freely, because then you cannot throw it up and create spin. The server shall then project the ball near vertically upwards without imparting spin, so that it rises at least 16 centimeters after leaving the palm of the free hand, and then falls without touching anything before being struck. Near vertically upwards. The rule changed a little bit a few years ago after there were two tournaments where we used VAR where the, there was no decisive number or which angle it could be thrown at, but it was decided that 30 degrees was the most the ball could path to the sides. So that means for every, let's say you throw the ball one meter up, it can maximum go 30 centimeters to one of the sides for it to be legal. So a serve like this, of course this is legal because it's basically up and down, but a serve like this, this is way too much. This is probably like 60 degrees, so this would be incredibly illegal. From the start of service until it is struck, the ball shall be above the level of the playing surface and behind the server's end line. And it shall not be hidden from the receiver by the server or his or her doubles partner or by anything they wear or carry. The ball has to be at all times until struck above the playing level, which is the table. So that means that you cannot take your hand under the table or when the ball is coming down, you cannot touch it under the table. Everything has to be going on upwards of the playing area. As soon as the ball has been projected, the server's free arm and hand shall be removed from the space between the ball and the net. The space between the ball and the net is defined by the ball, the net and its indefinite upward extension. So both your hand and arm has to be removed so that the ball has a clear path to the net. So after you've tossed up the ball, your arm is not allowed in any space between the, net, uh, the ball and the net. So you have to remove it, otherwise it's illegal. The primary requirement of the current service law is for the server to ensure that the receiver can see the ball throughout the service. And the umpire or assistant umpire must be satisfied that this is the case. And this rule is probably the most abused of them all. Many players are doing this incorrect, which is that the rule actually states that from you toss the ball and until you hit the ball with your racket, your opponent needs to have vision of the ball at all times, no exceptions. That means hiding the ball with your body, with your arm, that it falls down behind your head. This is incorrect and should result in an illegal service. But I'm also gonna show you something now that can maybe change your opinion a little bit on this specific rule. So now the camera is in an angle that is quite similar to if it's getting live streamed at a WTT event or in a league match. And I'm going to do one of my serves. And it's probably going to look like the ball is getting hidden and that it's falling behind my head. And from this angle, it is. And now from the perspective of a right-handed player receiving a left-handed player serve or opposite, a left-handed player receiving a right-handed player's service. And as it's probably looking like, the ball is getting hidden and falling behind my body slash head. And from this angle, it is. And now we have the, the angle if a left-hand player receives a left-handed player service, or if you did the opposite, right against right, where here we have an open diagonal and the angle to look at the ball is going to be completely different. And as you can probably see, the ball is much more visible. And if it's hidden, it's probably not hidden at all, maybe a very tiny bit, but it's much more from the other two angles you have just watched. And this, I believe, is very weird because 
the rules state that you have to serve so that the receiver can see the ball from you toss up the ball, that, you, that the ball leaves your racket. But with this rule, that would mean that against a right-handed player, this serve would be illegal, and against a left-handed player, it would be legal. This is completely wrong. It cannot be right in the rules that a serve is allowed against one player, but not against another one. The rule needs to have consistency and be the same no matter who is playing against who. Now I've showed you the rules I believe are being abused the most. And as I showed you before and explained, I also showed a little bit on the one rule that I believe is plain right wrong. And it does not make sense to have a rule like that. And I only see two solutions to actually making this uh, illegal serve issue in the pro table tennis scene better. With one of the solutions being you have to change or alter some of the rules. Because as it is right now, with all the small things, it's actually almost impossible to do a legal service if you look at the ITTF handbook. And uh, if that's not the case, I believe the umpires who are umpiring on these WTT tournaments, you have to be more brave in taking the serves when you feel they are not legal. Because I spoke with some umpires when they were umpiring people that are known for having quite wrong services. And I, I asked them, why don't you take that serve? It's, it's really clearly illegal. And they just tell me, yes, I also believe it's not correct, but I don't want to disturb the play. But this is not a solution. The solution has to be that you have to be brave and you have to follow your instincts and the things you have practiced to be able to see and then take the serve when you feel it's not correct. So uh, this is how I believe this issue can get a little bit better. And especially when a lot of the best players in the world are serving very illegally. It's also like, when then, when then we are players that are young or let's say 50 in the world, 100 in the world, 200 in the world, how are we supposed to beat them if they are better and at the same time they make illegal serves and they have an unfair advantage? So it is kind of a little bit of a, if you jump off a bridge, I'll jump with you kind of situation. But the best players in the world are serving illegal. And those are the people that a lot of young players are looking up to. And I believe that is why now so many players are serving illegally. And uh, yeah, but as you know, I'm very active in the, in the table tennis community, in the comment sections, etc. And I've seen a lot of people discussing this on live matches, on the ch in the chats and and so on. So I would love to have a discussion with you guys about this and about what I'm proposing in this video. So make sure to comment so we can discuss it and hopefully find some great ideas that we can send to WTT. See you next time.